What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Day two of our isolation creative challenge. Let's go. Alrighty guys, welcome back. Thank you again for joining me. If you don't know who I am, my name is Ed. I'm a Melbourne based photographer, videographer, small business, digital marketer. The reason I have set out this seven day challenge is because I think it's really important for us to stay productive and to stay motivated through action through these difficult times um, and sort of just challenging us as filmmakers and creators to create content in environments that don't necessarily induce creativity like our houses. Yesterday we had you going through and trying to shoot a B-roll sequence at 24 frames a second, no slow-mo allowed, in less than 30 seconds, tell a little story. My piece, I was lucky enough to be hiking through the Werribee Gorge um, with my girlfriend and it turned out all right, but I do realize the frustration when you want to extend a piece and you can't because you haven't got any slow-mo. Um, so it was a really good learning experience. What are we doing today? Today is gonna to be a music challenge. What I mean by that is you're gonna step outside your comfort zone with editing and music choice when you shoot a little B-roll sec sequence. Again, 15 to 30 seconds, nice and quick um, of just anything. I don't care if it's like you doing an edit, making coffee, which is what I did, or just, piddling around with your day. The rule is you need to edit with a type, a genre of music that you haven't used before or something that you're not familiar with using. So for instance, I love my lo-fi, I love my hip hop, I love my sort of dance music when I'm editing for clients. Uh, maybe a little bit in r and I really like a sort of chilled out low vibe. So for me, my goal is to shoot a piece around either classical music or probably rock. Rock would be the most appropriate because I haven't actually edited a piece to rock before. I think I've edited Actually, I think I've edited one piece ever in my whole career to rock music. This one is gonna be a bit of a challenge for me. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna head into my kitchen. I'm gonna make a quick cup of coffee and then see how we go filming it and making a B-roll sequence around that to rock metal. Let's see how it did. back. I actually reckon it turned out all right because I've edited it now and I've got the start of the show here, this mug, the No Drama Llama Club. Um, probably my favorite club. The No Drama Llama cup that my girlfriend got me. It's probably my favorite cup ever and I love it. And it's actually just like, weirdly enough, it sits on my desk because I have a couple of coffees a day and if I'm stressed out, I'll look at that and kind of have a giggle get reminded of my girlfriend. But I actually really love the juxtaposition between the llama and it being set to like rock music. So that was a lot of fun. Hopefully you guys got a bit of a giggle out of it. So that's a bit of an idea of what we're doing, guys. I pick rock music because I don't use it very often in my edits and hopefully you guys can come up with something cool. Now, talking about the creative challenge in general, why I'm doing it, I did touch on this yesterday, but just to recap that, guys, if you're just joining in now, um, I think it's really important for us to stay productive and stay creative in these times. The way I look at it is this, if we're creating content that's engaging, that's fun in our house, in our home, places that aren't necessarily inspirational and motivational environments, then we'll be able to smash out awesome work when we get into scenes later on down the track, because this will pass, um, get into scenes and environments that stimulate creativity so much. And if it comes down to it, there's one videographer and one photographer, or one videographer slash photographer, one videographer slash photographer that you know, hasn't done exercises like this, and then there's you, and you get set up in a boring scene for a client down the road, you're gonna smash that out of the park and you would be able to create things that they wouldn't be able to create. I think it's really important to practice, not just in the good times, but in the bad times. Keep that in mind, guys. I know like things are pretty rough, especially through the creative field. I did mention this yesterday, just to be nice and open and honest. I've lost all my work. I don't have any income at the moment. I'm trying to find work. I'm gonna do a little like sit down, proper talk about um, what I'm doing to keep my business afloat and how I'm sort of progressing with things as things move forward and a little bit of a mindset talk that I've got coming up after this, which is a little bit different. Yeah, day two guys, tomorrow day three is gonna be a tripod challenge. What I mean by that is you have to shoot a whole scene 
just using your tripod. Use whatever frame rate you want, edit however you want, whatever music you want, but every single shot has to be on a tripod. I think, for me anyway, my style is very run and gun, so using my hands and doing hand movements, gimbal movements, all that, that's really comfortable for me. I don't really use tripods too much to try and tell a story that way without the movement of a camera to accentuate certain things and shifting the focus in the scene where I want it. It's gonna be a huge challenge for me, but gonna see how we're gonna go. I think I'm gonna do it like of the editing process in my room, so hopefully it turns out all right. Thank you so much for tuning in again, guys. I hope this is a bit of fun. If you are doing this, maybe we'll start a hashtag ISO challenge. ISO Creative Challenge, ICC, that's gonna be mixed up with the cricket one, but ISO Creative Challenge, so I'll put the hashtag somewhere down here and we can go from there and I wanna see what you guys are creating. Super excited to see you guys, hope you're doing really well and I will speak to you soon.